Welcome into another edition of the Big Ten Hockey Report. Rick Pizzo, Paul Capanegri. It was a, shall we say, eventful weekend, <laughs> Cappy, for your alma mater against the arch rival Michigan yeah. Wolverines. You're right, Rick. It was pretty fun to watch. A, a little dangerous at the end, but a lot of great hockey, a lot of goal scoring. Not sure the coaches loved that on the defensive side, but it was fun to watch. Offensive explosion and all that excitement somewhat marred by what we saw on yeah. Sunday afternoon, but we start on Friday, game one of the series, Michigan playing at Ohio State. Buckeyes on top, 2-0 on the power play. Mason Yops to John Weedle, one of three assists for Yops in the game. Ohio State up 3-0 later in the second. Michigan down 3-1. Alex Kyle, where Grandma keeps the good stuff as he goes top shelf. Michigan down by just one. Early in the third, same score. Michigan now with the man advantage. It's Tyler Mott to Kyle Connor from a sharp angle. All Kyle Connor does is score goals. We are tied at three. Now tied at four. Justin Selman centers to Booney Evis, who puts it home. Michigan up 5-4, under 10 seconds to go. Draw in the Michigan zone. Won by Yop. Nick Schilke to Anthony Greco, who buries the biscuit. And we are headed to overtime, tied at five. No scoring in OT. So we go to a shootout, and we go nine rounds deep. Dakota Joshua, Mr. Joshua. We just offered up the shootout winner. Officially the 5-5 tie, but Ohio State takes the extra point. Game two of the weekend series, Sunday at Yost. Michael Downing shot from the point, put home by Tyler Mott. Power play goal, tying things up at five early in the third. Soon after, Kyle Connor forcing the turnover. He finds Mott. Mott would eventually score off the back of Matty Tompkins. Michigan takes a 6-5 lead. Final second to the game. Ohio State in desperation mode. It's 8-6 Michigan. And as the final horn sounds, it gets ugly. All that emotion, all that physicality of two games plus worth of hockey boiling over. And this is what grabbed the nation's attention. Cutler Martin with the sucker punch through a referee at the end of the game. You knew suspensions would be handed out, and they were. Remember, any game DQ brings with it an automatic suspension for the following game. That happened to Cutler Martin, Dexter Danks, Brandon Carney, Dakota Joshua. Now, Martin and Danks got additional punishments. Danks, one additional game. Martin, two additional games. They can count the January 21st game against the national under-18 team as one of those suspended games. So that means Danks will also miss the January 28th game at Penn State. Martin will miss January 28th at Penn State, as well as the January 30th game against the Nittany Lions at Madison Square Garden. Your take on what went down at the end of Sunday's game, Cappy? Uh, you know, emotions go high. It's been a long weekend. A lot of goals, a lot of things back and forth. I'm sure there was a lot of talking. And you know, I can't say I never lost my emotion, but at some point you have to be able to harness that emotion. And it got out of control. And, and the Danks one I kind of saw, he started throwing some punches there, and that kind of how it escalated. And then the color Martin one, I think the biggest thing is that a referee's in there, and a guy is down and out, and you go and throw that extra punch. I think that's where it takes it a little over the top for me. And you can see the Big Ten, you know, they took it the way they did. Yeah, the unwritten rules in hockey, once a linesman, once any official comes in to break sure. up a fight, that's basically the end of the fight. Yeah. And also, you're always going to get that extra penalty for the instigator. That's right. most likely what the Big Ten saw with Danks. We can argue back and forth whether the exactly. punishment for Martin is severe enough. Is it as too severe? I guess it depends on the colors it's, you bleed and your perspective. Hey, it's, it's a big one regardless. He's going to miss the whole Penn State series when you're looking at the top of the league. He's going to miss the exhibition game. He's also going to miss a very big series following up against Penn State. Yeah, and a great opportunity to skate at Madison Square Garden exactly. taken away, and in my opinion, rightfully so. Yep. For Paul Capanegri, I'm Rick Pizzo. As we put the wraps on another edition of the Big Ten Hockey Report, be interesting to see how Ohio State bounces back this coming weekend. Remember, Buckeyes with a very tough series against Penn State.